Hey everyone, it's Jonathan from Motor Psychology. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. And for the returning viewers, welcome back. And thanks for stopping by again. Your support is greatly appreciated. So today's video is all about problem bolts, problem studs, holes that need to be drilled out, threads that don't exist, and helo coils, and how cool helo coils are and how they're a lifesaver. So I'm gonna show you what a helo coil is and apply it to my particular situation, which was the left exhaust manifold coming out of the engine and where it comes down to meet the Y-shape exhaust pipe, the flange studs were stuck in there. They needed to be cut and drilled out and then fixed with helo coils. So I'm gonna show you my problem and how I fixed it and highly recommend these helo coils for any of you. And if you don't need it right now, get a kit. They're super, super useful to have in your workshop. So stick around and let's see how my situation goes. So I'm down here working on these exhaust flange studs, which are busted off in there. They used to be like this here. And these two smaller pieces. And when I was trying to get them out, they broke right there. So through all the heat cycles, it's basically welded the thread in here so impossible to remove so I'm in the process of drilling them out already I've drilled this part here out on that one to a certain degree and I'll be working on these ones and it's just a progressive you know use a small bit and then a slightly larger one and a slightly larger one to get that open one thing that I did to help the drill bit start is I punched a little mark on there with my punch so it's just a matter of lining it up and tapping it and then you get a spot where you can start your drill Let's see how this goes here So here we are back underneath. You can see that I am progressively getting that bigger in diameter, moving up on drill bits and slowly getting that done. Haven't started that one other than tapping it. This one is in progress, so it's doable. You have to be quite careful and it's important that I'm going to get most of that out. Once I'm very close to that diameter, I'm going to bring in a tap set and tap that hole to the right thread. So that should work out okay. I'm gonna try and put in a few larger drill bits in there and get this one done. See if I can widen this a little bit more.
there we're progressing there it's almost done on both of those I really should have started the other one at the same time it would have been a lot easier but let's give these ones a try so here's where we are right now most of them are drilled out there's a little bit of metal in there so that's the progress on there and that is how you drill out some studs it takes a while to get the first one through the tiny drill bit but once you get that one through the rest is pretty fast going there's more progression there getting that out still got to work on that a bit more and on this one a little bit more so I'm going to try something different. This is one of the new studs, a stainless steel stud that I'm going to put into that exhaust flange, which is on the left exhaust manifold. So one of the holes is stripped. Right now it's a little bit small, but there's no way that this is going to thread into it. So I almost thought that I'm going to have to go out and buy a new exhaust uh, manifold. Didn't want to do that because not that I didn't want a new one. I just didn't want to risk taking the manifold off and having those bolts break inside the engine block. So I'm going to try this first. And I saw somebody on YouTube do this the other day with a similar problem. So they use something called a helicoil. And in this particular case, you need, and it comes with the right sizes if you order it. So you've got a, a uh, tapping tool to rethread the hole. And it's going to be larger than these threads, and I'll show you why. So there's a couple other tools in there which you'll see me use so these are the coils and in this particular example this is the outside thread which will match this thread once it's done in the hole and the inside thread just really really nicely will fit this so it's kind of like putting a sleeve in the hole you thread the hole, you put that in, and then you can thread your bolt in there, or in this case, my stud. And hopefully that will work. That could save me a lot of time, but we'll find out. Once this is in, there's a few tools that you can use um, to get this in the hole. It's got a tool that has a little um, groove in it, and that hooks up to this part, and that allows you to turn it to get it in. And then once it's in, you pop that out and there's a little punch that you just punch this little flange or this little tab off and then you're good to go. So I'm going to get underneath the Corvette and see how this works. Also with this is the right size drill bit and hopefully the right quality that you can precisely drill out the hole the right size. And in this one, it doesn't really say what size it is. And anyway, that'll be the right size that allow this tap to go in, which will then allow this coil to go in. So I'm going to get down underneath the Corvette and give it a try. So here's my situation here. All these, the studs broke off on them. So as you saw, I drilled them out. And now I'm going to put the helicoil in these holes. These ones need to be drilled out some more. This one is pretty close. So I'm just going to run the drill through here and get it to the right diameter. It should not take that long. So here we are again, this hole, although it was a challenge, it's drilled out. These two still need to be done. And I'm going to get a smaller drill bit to start working on those. Uh, this one, I'm going to try and tap it in and see if I can't get that coil in there. So with the drill set up, I'm going to try and go slowly on here and get this thing in. Hopefully it'll work. So go in a little bit and then reverse it, go 
go back in, reverse. I also used a adjustable wrench to grab the end of that tap to finish tapping that hole. I didn't use the tool that came with the tap and die set because the space was too small to fit that in. So I used a combination of the adjustable wrench and the drill to get the tap in. And taking it out. Do that enough and it'll have a thread on it. So here's a good shot of what's going on. This has been tapped fairly far into that hole. I'm pretty sure the threads are there. These ones have not been started yet. I'll get around to those and I'll show you the finished product. Right now I've got the tap in there. Looks like it's going to be fine. I'm going to take this thing out and see what the threads like. So let's check that out. So we're back here again, just showing you the threads in there. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it's threaded and good to go. So now it's just about putting that Hela coil in there and the stud in there. So let's get around to doing that. All right, there's the coil that goes in. It's really just like a spring, but it's really interesting how it works. So once again, that, this is the tool here that's got the slot on it that you'll be able to stick that in like that and then put that up in the hole. Let's hope this works. So I'm going to stick this up here. This guy threads in here. going in really nicely. So now you can see that has a brand new thread in there and I'm just going to grab the exhaust stud and I'll show you. So I still have to knock out the little thing inside. I'll do that in a sec but now as you can see I'm going to have this perfectly threaded thing for the stud which is perfect. So looks like I'll be able to fix this without having to replace it, which is great. So inside that thread, you can probably see what I need to knock out. It's a little tab there and you just use that punch and drive it out. All right, back underneath the car, I'm going to put this in and just hammer that out. Should be pretty straightforward. That's it. That's enough to get the little piece of metal off there. And now it's totally open. One last thing for here, just thread that in once again. It's so awesome. So now we're gonna have that in place. I'm not gonna tighten it up right now because I've got the other ones to do, but these two are on the agenda and we'll get around to getting those things in. That's perfect. So, Here's the result. That's a helo coil for you and that's how those things work. Tight spot, but it's doable and it's gonna save a whole ton of aggravation. Well, it's been about an hour since I did the first one. I've drilled out the other two and threaded them and put the helo coils in there. So now I've got a complete set here that are all done and with that, when it comes time to do it, that is. So up here now we've got a complete mechanism that has all the exhaust studs on there. 
So now we'll be able to put the exhaust pipe back on. No problem. So thankfully that's done. Those helicoils saved a lot of time and a lot of effort if I were to remove the exhaust manifold there. So fortunately, pretty good idea whoever invented those. And these are nicely threaded. They'll be secure enough and good to go. Here's another angle of it. Obviously these studs need to be tightened before I put the exhaust on, but those helo coil kits work really well and something that I would highly recommend, especially for scenarios just like this. This is the right side of the exhaust manifold. This one was good to go, so I didn't have to do the studs on it, but I just wanted to show you that this one is set and way over here. And as you can see on this side, the left side, the studs are in there. They're not tightened right now, but the good thing is, is that the left and the right are good to go. And that means that I can start putting the oil pan back and getting this thing back together. So just wrapping this part up, these were the 3 8 coils that I used, the tap, and also the installation tools as well. And I did use the smaller drill and incrementally larger until I got to that one. These drill bits are actually pretty good. They're very efficient at going through that type of metal. So happy with that. And um, these things worked really well as well. So still sharp and did the trick. Now I have all this and no exact use for it, but it's a handy tool to have, that's for sure. Hey everyone, that's it for this short video. I just wanted to show you how cool Hilo coils are and how it helped me out in particular with the C3 Corvette on the left side exhaust manifold flange where it hits the Y pipe as it uh, starts the exhaust system. So thankfully they worked. So happy with that. Now I have a million helo coils that I have no use for, but it's a great kit to have anyway, nevertheless. So my exhaust manifolds are good with uh, three studs per manifold. So I'll be able to hook up the Y pipe or some other exhaust system when I get around to that. The good thing is it allows me to now move ahead and start rebuilding this engine, putting um, the parts that have taken off back on it. Thanks a lot, you guys, for being here, and we'll catch you all back here next time.